Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at how to troubleshoot shared libraries loading errors in PowerCenter on Linux. This is the main, main error we are going to focus on. If we search for that error on our knowledge base, we'll find around 400 hits and every KB seems different. This might cause a lot of confusion because, you know, at the end of the day, the root cause is almost always the same. So the idea of this video KB is to provide a common troubleshooting approach to issues of this kind. We'll also go through some terminology and we'll have a live troubleshooting exercise. The tools we're going to use are PM. You should be able to use the same troubleshooting approach to every other common line utilities, uh, services, startup issues, connectivity issues, uh, even outside of Informatica. Linux utilities we are going to use are LDD to print shared libraries dependencies, strace to trace operating system system calls and signals, and then we are going to work with environment variables and um, shell users profile files. Um, this is just to give you a little bit of understanding of uh, what a shared library is. Uh, a library is typically a binary or text file that you reference in your code so you can use the methods it provides. Um, the main differences between static and shared libraries are that a static library is a st it allows you to have a self-contained application whereas for a shared library or a dynamic library um, you have a smaller base application uh, because you have a piece of code uh, which provides functionalities which can be shared among you know different uh, applications um, and this also allows you to uh, replace the shared libraries without having to recompile the base um, application Naming conventions about shared libraries. Just a quick overview. Um, you might have a so name, which is just you know the prefix lib plus the library names dot so dot version, and a real name, which is the so name dot minor version dot release, which is optional, and you also have a linker name, which is the name used by the linker to actually call uh, and load um, your variable, uh, your, sorry, apologies, your um, shared library. Um, and it's also the name, the linker name, the name that the compiler uses when requesting the library. As you can see, it's simply the so name without um, any, any version number. So let's have a look at the troubleshooting. Let's go through the troubleshooting exercise. So these are my um, two systems here. So to start with, just going to create a fake libraries under US, USRLib64. I need root for this, but I'm going to work with my user without administrative privileges the user, uh, ICE user. So, um, as I mentioned, I'm working, let, let me, let's check first which shell I am using. There are different ways of checking it, but you know, a quick way might be just to do, to run the change shell command, which tells you, okay, this is bin C, sh the, the C shell is the shell I'm, I'm using right now. This means that this means that .cshrc is my profile file. This is the file used by my shell when I log in. This is the file sourced as soon as I log in. So everything I define into this file, environment variables, aliases, specific commands I want to run, they are going to be executed as soon as I log in. Um, I wanted to show you, since we are talking about profiles, files, depending on the shell you are using, this website. 
this website gives you a quick overview of you know the startup and the logout files that you have depending on the shell you're using so in my case as I've mentioned it's CS, CS HRC uh, but of course you know if you are using the bash shell uh, you will have different um, profile files so the first thing I want to do I want to run vm rep I'm not able to run this command and the main reason behind this kind of issues is that my command the, the directory containing this executable is not in my path environment variable so I know for sure that PM rep is under info home server bin PM rep. Okay, so I know it's in there. The only thing I need to do, I just need to add this specific path. So as I said, info home. I need to add it to my path environment variable. So setamp, I'm working with the C shell, so I need to use setamp. If you are using shell or the burn again shell, the bash shell, you need to use export. So setamp path, and in this case, I'm going to add info home server bin to my current path definition. If I run PM rep now, it's working, but it's giving me a different. Uh, it's so I don't get the command not found error anymore, but I get this error which says, "Okay, you cannot. Uh, you can. You, I've I've found a library, a file called libaceso.6.3.3, but that file is too short. The main reason behind this is that I'm um, I've defined a fake library under US USR lib64 so I wanted just to show you uh, how easy it is to have it you know that you might be hitting a different library or maybe an older library which might be loaded properly and then it might give you different issues while you are running the application so in this case I can just get rid of this fake library and let's run pm rep again to get the error we were mentioning at the beginning at the beginning of this uh, video so no such file or directory okay let's use ldd and strace to get some more information about this so ldd i need the full path PM rep. So this is the first library it's not able to found. But there are other libraries as well. So this confirms uh, that the issue is with the linked shared libraries. There isn't any issue with the actual PM rep command. And what else can I do? I could also use strays and focus on all the system calls related to files activities like open, close, stats, and, and etc. And let's see what I get here. As you can see, my um, command is actually looking for this library. Oops, apologies for that. So let's run it again. So S trace. So it's looking for libace under several paths. So in this case, US USR uh, lib64, USR lib64, TLS. So uh, there are a bunch of default libraries used uh, to search for um, shared libraries and then there are also the libraries defined in your environment variable ld library path so 
uh, everything you define in LD library path takes precedence over the default uh, locations w what the system takes into account as default locations for shared libraries so what do we have to do to fix this well uh, we need to understand we need to know where that library is uh, where the libac is in this case I know that this library is also provided by Informatica and you can find it in the same location where PM rep is so the only thing I need to do is this I just need to run the same command that I run for path before but in this case for LD library path environment variable which is the in this specific distribution and then um, most of the li Linux distribution is the one taken into account for um, shared libraries for you know where to search for shared libraries okay so I've added this to my LD library pod and now if I run PM rep I'm perfectly able to run it and if I run LDD all the libraries are found so uh, libac was the first one but there were a bunch of other libraries that couldn't be found all of them contained under infahome server bin and if I run strays again there is no issue whatsoever so this is the um, quick way to to fix this issue of course um, there might be more complex um, issues like you know where cases where you are um, the system might be able to find the library but it's not the right one or it might be an older um, library or it might be a corrupted library you might not have any issue during loading time and then when the application is actually trying to use that library you get you might get weird errors so these are cases where LDD and strace might help us understand where um, that shared library was taken from okay so um, of course during the session I've applied the changes on the fly I haven't changed my profile file but that's what you have to do if you want to keep changes across your shell logout login um, uh, you have a few references here uh, they provide usable information to have a better understanding of how to troubleshoot this kind of issues um, this is a duplicate of the first slide you have just you know the references written down um, so you can actually see the links um, and that's all so if you have any feedback about this video just let us know you can either write to support videos at informatica.com or contact us on twitter at infosupport thank you